Oh, there you are. Oh, he's scared. Look, you gotta understand, I don't have much time here, but there's something you need to know. There is information out there that is pivotal to understanding what really happened during the time of the Civil War, Emancipation, and Reconstruction. This information in the wrong hands can lead to the demise of America, because if the truth were eliminated from history, no one will remember it, and times can go back to the way they were. Truly awful, terrifying times. Times that were better known as the Dark Ages. It all started out back in 1750, when a boy named Kunta Kinte was kidnapped from his home in the Gambia of West Africa after trying to carry out a specific task of catching a bird and bringing it home unharmed. Kinte was then kidnapped by white men who proceeded to sell him to a slave trader and he was placed aboard a trip and taken on a three-month journey to the new colonial America. Upon his arrival, Kunta's name was changed to Toby, which was given to him by his new owner. Kunta marries and bears a daughter named Kizzy with a slave that he met on the plantation. Kizzy eventually gets sold away when she comes right of age, and she is raped by her new owner who impregnates her with a son that Kizzy gives the name, George. George is the grandson of Kunta, and he is the first in his bloodline to be considered free on American soil. As George is given the opportunity to become a master cockfighter, and he earns himself the nickname Chicken George. George is given the opportunity to earn his freedom, but he has to earn the ability to do so. So therefore, George is sent to England to train cocks for a man named Sir Eric Russell, who promises to set him free upon his return to the United States. Fourteen years later, George returns to America in 1861, just prior to the start of the Civil War, and he comes to find that his mother Kizzy passed away two years prior. His sons, Tom and Lewis, were sold off and now have families of their own. George comes to learn that in North Carolina, there's a law that states, if a free slave stays 60 days in the state as a free slave, well, he loses his freedom. And so George, he just heads north to continue his career as a cockfighter. And he has to wait for the war to end and that in the emancipation of the slaves, so he could reunite his family. Meanwhile, Tom became the town's new back blacksmith, who begins to be harassed by a couple of white brothers. One month prior to the Confederates surrendering, one of the white brothers deserts the Confederate army, and he shows up at Tom's door. As Tom runs an errand for the brother, the white man begins to attempt and overpower Tom's wife. As a fight ultimately ensues, Tom ends up drowning this man. Later, the other brother ends up showing up at Tom's doorstep looking for answers, which he does not find, and he proceeds to tell Tom that he is not yet finished with him. After the war, several local white men show up in white hoods, beginning to harass and terrorize Tom. This event ultimately assumed to be the beginning of the first rise of the Ku Klux Klan, but eventually all resolved as years later, Chicken George ends up returning unexpectedly, and he gathers up his whole family and friends, and he brings them to a new land that he now owns in Henning, Tennessee, to start a new free life. So now you know the truth. Quick, you, you, you need to go. You need to get out of here. A signal. Signal's weakening. Go quick before they find you too. Run. Hurry. 